friends let us observe how we can manage a whole nucleus drop blow out rupture of the posterior capsule has occurred in this case this happened to one of my colleagues and i have been asked to manage this case so i have taken up this case for surgery i am doing conjunctival peritomy for about two clock hours my plan is to use two trockers and on sclerotomy wound to manage the case so this is the peritomy for about two clock hours and another small peritomy in the inferotemporal quadrant for about one clock hour and now um, I have used a bit of cautery and now using this trocker for irrigation this is the irrigating cannula yes I'm planning to see the irrigating cannula with this light pipe I could see it in the vitreous cavity by the light pipe and it is fine but the irrigating cannula is not fixed well to the trocker so I push it firmly and it is fixed now one more trocker at around 1.30 o'clock for the light pipe most of the time this trocker will be used for the light pipe and now I am making a sclerotomy wound because I am going to use phragmotum which I cannot use through a trocker this is the nucleus it has come anteriorly so I have started doing vitrectomy I am using Faro's the machine offers cut quite high but I am using only 5000 cuts per minute and a vacuum of about 175 millimeter of mercury and my plan is to free this nuclear fragment from vitreous and do a nice vitrectomy all around I'm not going to excise the base I tried to induce PVD but I was not successful but I'm doing a nice vitrectomy all around in all quadrants I have injected some triamcinolone acetate uh, I have done a nice vitrectomy all the vitreous strands all around the nucleus has been cut I'm using an irrigating contact lens which neutralizes the power of the cornea and we can visualize the fundus and now this there is corneal edema and visualization is not good so I am scraping the central part of the epithelium so that I can see the vitreous cavity clearly and this is enough again I go in and do some more vitrectomy put the irrigating contact lens do vitrectomy all around 
I must see that the nucleus is freely mobile and I have introduced the phragmotome and I have started emulsifying the nucleus but I find that it is taking quite long time to emulsify the nucleus though the ultrasonic power was quite low I used only 40 percent ultrasound and Vacuum was 175 and it was not efficient so I have taken the 2.8 2.2 millimeter I'm enlarging the sclerotomy introducing the 2.2 millimeter fecal needle without sleeve have gone in and my plan is to do emulsification of this nucleus in the anterior vitreous so hold it bring it anteriorly and start emulsifying with microscope light in the anterior vitreous keeping the probe at the central part of the visual field <coughs> and this was quite fast I have used about 60 percent ultrasound and 250 vacuum and it is almost done I use the mirror and find that most of the yes all of the large nuclear pieces have been emulsified only small bits are here and there for this I can use the vitrectomy cutter <coughs> so I use the vitrectomy cutter now do some vitrectomy anteriorly first use the mirror go posteriorly and now I emulsify the small pieces remove the small pieces of nucleus here and there the camera is Sony Alpha 7 S2 microscope is OMS 800 of Topcon and I'm removing all the pieces from all around Since I could not induce PVD, a layer of vitreous is over the retina. And now I remove the cortex from all around my colleague just did hydrodissection and the nucleus dropped immediately he stopped and asked the patient to wait for a day and I have we have taken up the case for next day and now I am 
injecting a multipiece intraocular lens in the sulcus. This is sensor multipiece intraocular lens. I'm placing the trailing haptic over the iris first. And now I use some visco over the lens to protect the corneal endothelium. And now I hold the trailing haptic and place the leading haptic in the sulcus and also the trailing haptic in the sulcus. I have enlarged the main wound by 3.5 millimeter and I am closing the main wound by a continuous shoeless suture. This part of the surgery is in high speed, five times normal speed. I used Simco to clean the visco from anterior chamber. And after removing all the visco, I formed the SE with BSS and put the knot which got buried in the tissue. The threads are trimmed. And now my plan is to remove the visco that has gone into the vitreous cavity. The visco was used to implant the intraocular lens. So I go again in the vitreous cavity and use the cutter to remove all the visco that has gone into the vitreous cavity. And once it is done, the intervitreal work is done. So I just close the sclerotomy wound and this is being done by a 9O nylon suture and this is an X suture. This part of the surgery uh, is at 2.5 times normal speed. The sclerotomy wound is nicely closed. The threads are trimmed. The other sclerotomy is also closed. This is four times normal speed. This is also an X suture. This surgery took long time, about one hour. So I had to edit in this way. And now the other sclerotomy wound also was sutured. You know the conjunctiva is opposed to the limbus by some releasable sutures. This is the releasable suture at around nine o'clock to oppose the conjunctiva there. This is the another releasable suture. Three loops and just pull. And this is the last releasable suture on the left side of the peritomy. This releasable sutures can oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus very well. 
Many colleagues use co use cautery, but I don't like cautery. This is a final lavage of the anterior chamber. This is the last step of the surgery. After this, I am going to inject a bit of moxie in the anterior chamber and conclude the case. So this final lavage being done, I take the moxie and hydrate corneal stroma on other side of this sideboard. Moxie also goes in the anterior chamber. Feel the intraocular pressure and conclude the case. Now let us see some poster pictures taken one week after surgery. There is very mild corneal edema. The epithelial defect has healed very well. Anterior chamber is quiet. Intraocular pressure is only 10 millimeter of mercury. This is the dilated examination. The all the wounds are nicely closed. You can see the sclerotomy wound nicely closed. And this is the 90 D picture of optic nerve head. 90 D picture of macula. So the peripheral uh, retina is also okay with indirect ophthalmoscopy. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to take up challenging cases.